How's it going everybody? Pidgey PCs here. Um, today is going to be something fun, something that I've been wanting to do on this channel for a while now. Um, as you can see, we've got the full lineup of ROG Evangelion PC parts. Um, the only thing that you don't see on this table is the router and the three articles of clothing. Um, that is the black t-shirt, the white t-shirt, and the sweatshirt. Um, I have ordered the clothing already and hopefully that will be here this week. That way I can show those off when the actual PC build happens. Um, the router I didn't want um, only because I have the Gundam RX78-2 router and all that does is just sit in a box. Um, just because I have a good router setup uh, better than the Gundam one right now so it's unneeded. Um, but other than that, we've got all the other PC parts. We've got the case, the AIO, we've got the keyboard and mouse, the power supply, the motherboard, the graphics card. You know, we have the SSD enclosure, we have the monitor, we have everything. Um, everything that the ROG Evangelion, as far as PC components goes. Um, we won't be doing the PC build today. Uh, today is gonna be mainly focused on just doing the uh, unboxing of everything on this channel. So that's what we're going to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to kick it off with the largest component going all the way to the smallest. Um, so without further ado, let me get everything off the table and we'll start with the case. Okay, so the case that's going to be featured in the Evangelion setup is going to be the ROG Strix Helios. Um, this is a larger mid-tower case, and it weighs in probably around 40 pounds, so it is quite massive. But let's go ahead and get it unboxed, that way I can show you all of the cool features of it. Okay, so the, the case comes like all the other Helioses. It comes in this really nice black felt bag. Let's go ahead and get this uncovered. And as you can see, the Helios does feature these really nice holding straps, which do have the purple of the EVA 01 with the little ROG emblem on this one and the EVA 01 symbol here. All right, so this is actually a really cool case. Um, let me go ahead and grab my, my little turntable here just so I can show it off to you. All right, so um, on the front of the glass here, instead of the normal ROG pattern that you find on the Helios, you will find the EVA 01 figure, which when it's lit up looks really cool going around to the back here you do see that it's got the Evangelion here with a nice cool design there on the back you've got the green and purple PCIe slot covers and then on the front we have just the regular tempered glass um, this the Helios is you know just like all the others where you just hit the button in the back here and the tempered glass comes right off Uh, inside the case, you've got the EVA 01 graphics card support, and then you have the really cool EVA design sitting on the power supply shroud. Uh, this case does come pre-installed with four 140 millimeter ROG fans. You got three on the front cage and one on the rear cage. These fans are non-PWM, so they are the three pin style. Uh, and with the fat glass off here, like I said, like the other Helios cases, you get this little shroud. So let me go ahead and grab my screwdriver. The, the Helios does come with a fan hub for the four fans that are pre-installed. Uh, like I said, they are non-PWM. Um, so now that we have this little cover off, 
you can see that it does come with all the wire management straps going up here with four of them. Here is that fan hub that I was talking about. And you also have all of these SSD trays right here. Um, the HD tray is removable. Uh, the, th the Helios case does feature a top dust filter, a front dust filter, and it also features the power supply basement filter. Um, if you do have an ROG Thor with the OLED screen on it, this PSU basement is perfect because it does have the window as well as all the ventilation on the top for the fan. Um, so that is the Helios. I'm going to go ahead and box this back up and then we'll get into the monitor. You know, before I get into the monitor, there's a little side note about the accessory box that I want to add, and this is strictly talking about the Helios in general. Um, and I'm only bringing this up because I, I don't see it on any of the, you know, the teardown videos or anything like that that I see of this Helios case. Um, so inside the accessory box, you obviously get your zip ties, you get your, your USB covers, uh, you do get included a pump and reservoir cover for if you want to run a custom loop. Another thing that this comes with, and a lot of people have questions about this that I've seen on like the Facebook groups and things like that. Uh, ROG does include a vertical PCIe slot cover that goes into the regular horizontal ones. That way you can mount your graphics card as close to the motherboard as possible. Um, you know, this is nice for when you're running an air-cooled graphics card, so that way the fans aren't directly up against the glass. And then, of course, you get all your mounting hardware. So you get some additional standoffs, you get the standoff removal screw, and then all of your motherboard screws. Um, you know, like I said, I don't see this being covered at all with any of the Helios teardowns. And all the Helioses come with these accessories. Uh, I'm talking the regular black one, the white one, the Gundam edition, as well as this Evangelion one. So, you know, I hope, hope this helps those out there that have the Helios case um, and want to run a vertical GPU or even, you know, a custom loop. ROG does provide all of the brackets to be able to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the monitor. All right, so the monitor that comes with the Evangelion uh, setup is going to be the XG27 AQM. Um, this is a 1440p monitor, and this one does feature, you know, a 270 hertz refresh rate, and it is an absolutely fantastic monitor. Um, it's very similar to the Gundam monitor for the, uh, the RX, 78-2 but this one is a higher refresh rate so let's go ahead and unbox this monitor that way you guys can see it All right, guys, I'm just going to keep the actual cover on the, you know, the actual screen here. But the nice thing about the ROG monitors is they do feature a very nice way of screwing the base to the actual stand. Uh, it requires no tools. As you saw, I was just able to screw them on and the base won't fall off. Uh, this monitor does feature, you know, raise and lowering abilities. It has tilt, or not tilt, but, uh, you know, where you can put it in a vertical orientation. And then it does also have tilt as well. Um, 
I'm gonna roll it around to the back side here so you can see it. Uh, as you can see, the stand is purple and green, which is very cool looking. Uh, the actual mounting base right here is orange. And then it says Evangelion 01 right here. Um, on top of the monitor, it does say ROG Evangelion project. And then as far as the accessories that come with the monitor, uh, it does come in a box on this one, which is actually really nice to see. The other, you know, ROG monitors that I've unboxed, they, all the cables are just loose, which can kind of be a bear to put it back in the box. Um, and you do also get some Evangelion stickers, as well as the color gamma on the monitor itself. Um, as far as accessories, you get the rear I.O. cover, which is a black one. And then we got your, your manuals and how to put it together. The power brick. They supply a USB 3.0 pass-through cable, a HDMI and DisplayPort cables, and then here's the actual power cable here. Um, this monitor, I just need to twist this, that way I can tell you exactly what I.O. it comes with. Um, this one will feature uh, two display ports, a USB um, ports, two of them, two HDMI ports, and then a headphone port, obviously the power jack as well. Um, but that is the unboxing of this monitor. So let me go ahead and get this back into the box and we'll get into the next component. Up next, we have the ROG Ryujin 2 360 ARGB. Um, this is going to be a really cool AIO. So let's go ahead and get into this. So opening up, you're greeted with a little pamphlet card for the ROG Evangelion. And you can tell that it's it's got that embossing on it for the, the EVA project. Um, but as you can see, it opens up just like every other Ryujin 2. Um, and let's go ahead and get into this. So 
In this box here, you'll have all your, your Ryujin 2 ARGB fans. Um, so you have one that has the nerve on it. An ROGI. And then another ROGI. Uh, these are all PWM ARGB. Also included, like all the other Ryujin 2s, is going to be the fan and RGB hub. Um, on one side, you're going to have three ARGB ports and a PWM fan header. And then on the other, it's going to be just the reverse. So three PWM fan headers and the ARGB header. Uh, this is what the actual Ryujin 2 plugs into, so you do need this to run the AIO. Speaking of the AIO, Let's get into it. With all the Ryujin 2s, you get pre-applied thermal paste on the back there. And then this little screen cover actually comes off. So let me get that slit off here. And it's the actual screen itself. And then the pump features this little fan for your VRMs. And then the radiator is just your standard 360 millimeter radiator with the ROG logo on it. Um, as far as actual hardware goes, let's get the rest of this out. So it does come with everything. It comes with Intel 1700, Intel 1200, AM4. It does also come with an ARGB splitter, um, a fan splitter that goes from three to one. Um, you also do get your manual and your stickers. All right, so let me get this one back in the box and we'll move on to the next product. All right, and to close out the final of the in tower PC components, we're going to unbox the RTX 3090. This is the ROG Strix model. So let me get this box open. That way you can see this gorgeous GPU. Um, you may remember this GPU as well, um, but not the 3090, the 3080, which was featured in my wife's build. Um, I use, she liked the purple 3080, so I made sure to get her that one. But opening up this box, you see that it's a very vibrant purple with the Strix in the green and the orange. Um, opening it up, you get front and center of the actual graphics card. Um, inside these ROG Strix uh, graphics cards, you do get a little ruler on it. Some wire ties, which these are purple for the Evangelion. Get the graphics up card out of the way and get to this little Strix box here. All right, inside the little booklet, we get the uh, speed setup user guide. We also do get the little triangle top plate that goes on the back side of this graphics card, the warranty card and a thank you for purchasing. All right, let's get into this bad boy. This is probably one of my favorite looking graphics cards out there. So this is the Evangelion GPU. It's purple, green, and it just looks awesome. The front here, uh, the RGB on the front plate here has like a little wave pattern, which makes it look really cool. Uh, with all the ROG Strix GPUs, you do get two HDMI and three display ports. Um, the housing of this GPU does go all the way around. 
And just to give you a look at the backside of the actual GPU, it's EVA 01. So this graphics card, like I said, is probably one of my favorites. I did like the Gundam one as well. That Gundam one was real cool looking. Um, but that's it on the tower components. Time to move on to the peripherals. The first of the peripherals that we're going to take a look at is the actual desk mat. Um, this is the ROG Scabbard 2. Um, you know, the cool thing about this scabbard, and this is this goes for all of them, is that they do have a water and dirt resistance to them. Uh, they are a very thick um, mouse or desk mat and are very, very uh, durable. Um, so this is going to be your full length desk mat. And as you can see, it's actually got some really cool design cues on it. Um, it is very flexible, uh, very weighted as well, and it's just, it's a very nice desk mat. Um, on the back side here, you can see that it does display the ROG Evangelion, sorry, can't get that going there, ROG Evangelion on the back side. Um, so this is the desk mat, let's move on to our next peripheral. Next peripheral we have on the docket is the ROG Kyrus Wireless. Uh, this is a 79 gram mouse, wireless mouse, and it features three different connectivities. You can run it in a wired configuration, uh, Bluetooth, or you can do the 2.4 uh, hertz with the supply dongle. Um, this is a 16,000 DPI mouse. Um, and the cool thing about it is ROG includes a purple and a orange side button for this mouse. Um, the ones that come on the mouse are green, so you can swap those out at any time. Um, the other cool thing is that the cord for this mouse, the charging cord, is actually a, a paracord material. So very, very nice feeling. Um, the mouse does come with changeable switches, so the actual clicking switches of it are interchangeable. And then it does also get new feet for the bottom of it, that way you can change those out as well. Um, the actual dongle for the mouse is on the bottom side, goes right inside of it. And it does feature RGB with the EVO 1 on the back side there. Um, I'm going to put the mouse next to the mic, that way you can hear the clicks. As you can see, it's, it's a very nice and it's actually very nice feeling. Um, it does glide very nice. And that is the mouse for the EVA setup. Up next is the ROG Strix Arion. Um, this is a M.2 SSD enclosure, um, and it's actually really cool looking. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the box here. That way I can just show you exactly what it looks like. Um, the very top piece that you get is the actual enclosure itself. Um, it is an aluminum based enclosure, and it's, it's very nice. It uses USB Type-C, but it does come with two cables that you can do Type-C or Type-A. Uh, it is RGB. Um, the next thing is the actual enclosure removal tool, and I'll actually open that up for you so you can see it. The next foam piece you get is the little bumper that goes around it, as well as a little carrying strap. You also do get all the cables, so like I said, you do get the Type-C to Type-C and the Type-C to Type-A cables. Um, remaining in the box is going to be just the two little pamphlets for it. But let's go ahead and open up the actual Arion so that way I can show you inside of it. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this little, little tool here and you find the little pin that allows you to open it, which is going to be on the bottom side here. Pop it in there. And the back side does pop off. Um, there is thermal pads on the inside of this. That way you can keep your, your M.2 cool. 
And then it does fit all the way up to, I believe, a 2280 M.2. Um, so that is the actual Arion. And when you have your SSD, it is a screw in style. So what you do is you just stick your M.2 in there. And I'm gonna use this little paper to show you. Your little M.2 into the slot. Screw it down with the supplied screw. If I can get it to stop moving. Just like that. You will take the Arion and pop it in the correct way. And it is keyed to only go on one way, so you'll actually key it on like this. Click it down and you are good to go. Up next is the headset that they chose for this Evangelion setup. Uh, this is the ROG Delta S. So let's go ahead and get into this here so you can see exactly how it unboxes. So you open it up and you get a nice little foam pad that slides out here. And as you can see, you get a little panel for the Evangelion here. Uh, pulling that back and you're greeted with the actual headset. So let's go ahead and get the headset out of here. And the uh, back side of this board is actually uh, padded as well. Uh, it's basically just welcome you to the elite gamers of RNG. So let's go ahead and get the headset out. And we'll get the box, accessory box that comes with it. All right, so this is the Evangelion headset. Uh, it does feature RGB on it. As you can see, it does have the, the EVA 01 on there. Um, and then on the other side, you get these orange little, little uh, inserts for the cushions themselves. Um, they have the same pattern as the back side of the glass as well as the motherboard where the CPU socket is. Don't know if you saw that. Um, there is some flex here and you can hear the plastic creaking a little bit. But the cool thing about this headset is you can run it like this to where if you want you can just let it rest on your, on your actual shoulders there. Or you can spin it back around and then put them on. Uh, they feature the actual almost triangle looking feel to it, just a more contour to your ear. Um, on the bottom side, you do have light control as well as your, uh, your RGB control and then your volume control right here as well. Um, this does plug in by USB Type-C, um, but there is adapters inside of this little box here as well as additional memory uh, cups. So let's go ahead and get everything out of here. So inside of it, you've got the actual warranty card and the user guide. And then they do supply you with two additional ear covers. Uh, these are more of your uh, breathable style ear cups, while these are more the leather. These will obviously keep the, uh, what's it called? The uh, uh, noise canceling a lot better because they won't noise won't slip through the actual uh, cushions. Um, ROG does provide a Type C to Type A adapter for you to plug in. That way you can plug it into your computer. And then it does have the purple matching um, mouse piece, which just slots into this little corner here, just like that. So all in all, I do really like the look of this headset. Um, it's probably one of my favorite looking headsets. Once again, I'll reference the Gundam one. The Gundam one was really cool looking, but you know, personal opinion, and you can tell by my colors, the purple and green gotta be my favorite colors. Um, but let me get this all boxed up and we'll move on to the very last peripheral. The very last peripheral that I have for you guys, and this will also round out the last of the Evangelion components that I have. Uh, this is the ROG Strix Scope RX. Um, this is the blue key style. Um, so it's going to have the optical, clicky, and speedy keys on it. 
But let's go ahead and get into it. And then that way I can show you a test of the keyboard. Um, as all ROG keyboards come, I do like that they do put these nice little felt covers on the keyboard themselves. And as you can see on here, the actual keyboard is very good looking with the purple and green notes. Um, you do also have the orange on the little bump stops here, as well as the green on the bottom side. This keyboard does feature a USB pass-through and is double cabled as far as the plug-in cable. So one will be for the keyboard and one will be for the actual USB pass-through. Uh, inside the box, you will also get, you know, different switchable keys for your, you know, your control and your shift buttons. Um, and there's two different styles. You also do get some ROG stickers, the user guide, and then the warranty card. You also do get a key pour, which is very nice. Uh, this helps when removing your actual, uh, your keycaps. Uh, this, you know, I've always been curious about these. I just need to look and see what exactly they are, just because I'm not familiar with them. Um, they do include them in the box though, and okay, so it doesn't tell you exactly what it is. Um, if you guys know what these are, please just drop them down in the comments as I'm not too sure. Uh, they do look pretty cool. Um, and I'm assuming that they would go for the switches themselves. I just, I don't know what exactly they're for. Let's go ahead and do a sound test of this keyboard because like I said, these are the blue clicky switches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mic off from my shirt here and I'm gonna place it right next to the, the keyboard. That way you can just kind of hear it. So personal opinion, the keys actually feel very nice. There is very little wiggle on them. Um, and they just, they sound cool. Um, clicky is not my preferred keyboard. I do like the more linear red switches, but the blues are nice and the clicking is very crisp and it's actually not as loud as a lot of the keyboards that I've heard. Um, I think that has a lot to do in part with the actual, um, the foam that they put on this uh it could be if there's foam on this or if there's actual like the optical style why it's a little more muted um but this keyboard is an aluminum base um and that's it's a very nice keyboard but this is the ending of the evangelion components um the build will take place as soon as i build custom cables for this pc uh, like I said, the Thor does come with the red and black style. I just want to take that a step further and, and make some cables that I feel will go with this build. Um, but other than that, guys, we are all done with the un full unboxing of all the Evangelion components. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite one. Um, me personally, it, it's a toss up. Um, I want to say it's that power supply only because it comes in the Pelican case and it's just a gorgeous looking power supply. Um, but other than that, uh, stay tuned guys. We got a lot more content coming and I do appreciate you.